How's it going, Pokemon fans? CJ and Shane back for episode 30. We're going to get to some more encounters. Go to Cinnabar Island. I'm going to go answer some riddles. Oh, uh, yeah, forget about that. No, I don't think you actually have to. I was just making a joke about Blaine from the anime. Oh. I mean, I thought you still had to. I don't think you do. Oh, he has six Pokemon. He's probably one of those Magikarp guys. <coughs> Wouldn't that make all six of his Pokemon Starmie? You know what? I don't know how this randomizer works anymore. Oh, that was dumb. Just go to Salamence. Screw it. When in doubt, Salamence. That was gonna take so long. I actually use protect. Yeah, you're being that guy. Okay. I keep forgetting that we're like ten levels higher than everything right, right now. You know, Cloyster should be putting the finest of work in. Oh no, the trainer's not. The gym isn't fired. Never mind. Did you keep doing what I was doing at the beginning of the last log? Oh, so this one time I was at work, and this old man was talking about how back in the day, he, he started doing it right there at the counter, they would put peanuts in their Coke, and then he opened his Coke and put peanuts all up in the bottle. What? Why? Apparently it's a thing. That sounds really weird. Why would you ever do that? I don't know. But ever since then, I've been super curious and kind of want to try it. Oh, you're looking it up, aren't you? Oh my god, it is real. As far back as the 1920s? Keep playing. I'll read up on this. That's super weird. So apparently it's just like a salty sweet thing. Right. Okay, like, first of all, some of the like diehard fans of it insist that you have to do it with a Coke and a glass bottle. Which is weird, but whatever. Take a few drinks of it, 
And then you put the peanuts in there. Oh, dude, that's really weird. And yeah, it looks like the peanuts just float to the top. Huh. Dude, you don't even understand. The things I learn at work. Tell me more. Would you like an M&M? Oh, sure. Ah, I missed. Mecco, that is the psychic one. So much sleep. Why so much sleep? Hammer down a little bit. There we go. I'm just gonna try to put everything to sleep. Triggered. Are we there yet? down a bit over there, aren't you? Hungry, man. Well, if we wanted to eat, we could have just ate before we started the episode. Look, man, you're not wrong, but I brought these M&Ms for a reason. I assume it was because you wanted M&Ms. My mom gave them to me. And I was like, hey, free candy. And who turns down free candy? You want free candy? No, I'm good. You don't want free candy? Fine. So is this guy done yet? Or is that still one more? Two more. Jeez. <laughs> I just want to get these encounters, man. And you're using an attack that takes forever. I'm going to use the quick attack. But, uh... I get what you're going for. This doesn't know anything. Oh, that did nothing. Wow. Without being super effective, that did nothing. Well, Fury swipes start. Not Fury swipes. Fury cutter starts off. Start starts off super weak, but then gets stronger as you use it more. Really? Yeah. It start. It starts off at like base twenty, I think, and then goes up like forty. I think then 80, I don't know. I don't remember how it works. I don't know how 
protect works with it either. I don't know if it resets. Yep. So, this is gonna take a while. Because now you're using Absorb, which is also weak. Couldn't just knock it out. Oh. Did we just lose our EXP share? Hmm. Oh, it stays in the bag? Yeah, I think it just goes to the bag. Oh, dude, if we just. Oh, God, I. No, I don't think it just gets rid of it. Okay. I would have been so freaking mad. Go ahead and check the bag. If it's not there, I quit. Go up to the top. Holy crap, did we just lose it? We did. Oh my god. Why does he just random... Oh my god. Are you serious? That works that way? We have to actually start grinding. I think that's just all the Pokemon that learn it. It doesn't say anything about where it goes. Oh, after the battle, the target will regain the knocked off item. Okay. Oh, okay. Woo! Okay. We good. Oh, that was scary. Okay. We good. I was about to get so mad. Bruh. Oh. What? Why are you playing the poker flute? Because camera ups asleep. Oh. It works that way? Yep. Same. Oh, I thought it only worked in battle. Why? This man forgot to turn off his phone. Actually, it's an alarm. Oh. I have no control over that. I mean, you could have just turned off the alarm. Yeah, but, uh, not going to. That reminds me to... If I had class today, I would need to get ready to go. battle? Yes, it is. But luckily, I don't have class. Alright. Uh, Chelsea should be on her way right about now. Oh, okay. I told her to get here before 6, because obviously we were planning to be at Trevor's at 6. And I want to stop by the store. Right. This is interesting. Because it's getting a little warm.
This battle's going really slow. It's because I had to switch both Pokemon out. Oh. And then Sandstorm. I had to buff it three different people. Right. <clears throat> Cajun's the first one to hit level 40. Who'd have thought that Numo would be the first one to be the highest level on the team? I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be Salamence. Yeah, he's, he's too long. He takes too long to level up. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he's even at 37, to be honest with you. Kibbles. Wait, no, we still have kibbles. I thought you were trying to remind me of Pokemon that we lost. No, Trevor. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. In mine and his playthrough. Yeah. Look, the only Pokemon I remember y'all having is the Shroomish, the Mighty Anna, the Egg. No, those are all episodes that have gone up. I only watch the ones that get posted. Well, I'm talking about for people who might not have watched it yet. No, well, they should have. If they haven't, it's their problem. Yeah, did I ever tell you about the one time I had a pit bull and I named it Snubble? You did not, but that sounds like something you would do. Bro, it was great. I mean, we didn't, like... Adopt a pit bull. Uh, we found it like starving to death by a dumpster. So we took it in and like nursed it back to health because it, uh, like, you know, it was very decrepit and yeah. needed caretaking until we found it a home. <clears throat> With the crazy, smelly guy at the end of the neighborhood. What? He wasn't really crazy, he was just really smelly because he worked for the sewage place in town. So he basically spends his entire day inside sewage. Oh, nice. So he just stopped even bothering to shower because he just smells like garbage anyway. Um... What? I don't, I don't think that's good logic. Look, I don't know. I mean, obviously... If anything, I would shower more often. Well, because even after he showered, he would still smell bad. Because, like, the stink just, like, sticks on his skin, I guess. I mean, at least you just wouldn't feel as gross. Yeah, but, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying how he did it. I'm not saying I mean, it's right. No, I, I get what you're saying. I just think that's really weird. Yeah, so did why. I. Why? So did why? <laughs> Don't make fun of my accent. I do what I want. I wouldn't even call that an accent. I would just call it being dumb with your words. Shut up. I'm, hey, I'm not saying I don't do the same thing. Yeah, Mr. Best way to learn how to use a gun or use a cop is with a gun. <laughs> that was great. That's a funny story. English is hard, man. We're in the car, uh, and we were at a pawn shop, and we were looking at guns. And uh, CJ's friend is a cop, and he was gonna teach us how to like properly handle firearms. This is grass water. Yo. Yep. So electric. I think that might be neutral. So... Flying... Gotcha. But anyway, so in the car, CJ goes, Yeah, I mean, what better way to learn how to use a cop than with a gun? When he meant to say, what better way to learn how to use a gun than from a cop. So... Look, English is hard. That's all I'm gonna say. This man's a terrorist. You don't know what I do on my weekends? Actually, you kinda do know what I do I on my do. weekends. <laughs> you go to Pokemon tournaments with me. You don't know what I do on my Saturdays. Half the time you go to Pokemon tournaments with me. I, mean, I wouldn't even say time. half the time. Not even half the time, but you know what I mean. But, <laughs> so, uh, Isis just gives you vacation time you use on those other Saturdays? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> At least Isis gives their employees vacation time. This got really weird. <laughs> Props to you, Isis. <laughs> Taking care of the little man. I'm not that little, man. You see this guy? Oh, man. 
Well, I mean, I assume you haven't been with the company for very long, so I assume you're pretty low on the totem pole. Or have you been an ISIS member for years? Dude, I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> I should probably stop talking about terrorist organizations. Probably. This is a children's game. What are you doing? Is it any worse than Team Rocket? Um. You want to say yes, but it's really not. Right? Like, you want to say yes, but you know it's not. Because what is Team Rocket? This got really real. This got really weird. We're comparing Team Rocket to... They both wear black! Hmm... False. Isis wears black. Jesse and James were white. Yeah, but... That real Team Rocket people wear black. Hey! They are real Team Rocket members. Real jokes they are real Team bad Rocket. Team Rocket members, but they are real. The funny thing is, is, I don't actually think they're that bad. It's just because they have to go against Ash. There's been many or many times where they're both shown to be pretty good battlers. Apparently, in uh, one of the Sun and Moon episodes, they actually beat Ash. Fun fact, did you know in the Sun and Moon series, uh, they have a mimic you? Yeah. And it keeps killing the elf. Yeah, I've, I've seen <laughs> he has that. He a running gag of Meowth being a cat, so he has nine lives. And Mimikyu keeps killing him. Like, am I the only one that thinks that's just fantastic? Like, you look... Ooh, that would have been nice. Wait, where are we in? I'm pretty sure we're still in the same one we caught, uh, Sceptile. Uh, just we caught Sceptile in the grass. Can you check the map? I mean, if... if I mean, if, yeah, if, if this is a different route, it's too late. Yeah, but I never saw the route change. Twenty-one. Yeah, we're still twenty-one. It's twenty-one okay. all the way to Cinnabar. Okay. So wow, there's Septile and Gengar in this route. I would rather have the Gengar. I mean, yeah, me too, but I'm not gonna be picky. When we've been getting garbage crap like Slugma and Minun and. That kind of crap. Hey, hey. That, that Minun is like 15 levels above half her team. Yeah, but is it actually stronger? Salamence would probably destroy it. We'll, we'll never know. Because we don't use it. Go back to Isis. Don't tell me what to do. You know, but like I saw the video where like you see Meowth drown because Mimikyu yeah. cursed it, and then you like you see him just laying there dead, and his eyes are all purple, and you see his spirit go back in his body. Like that's kind of dark for Pokemon, don't you think? A little bit. Like, that that that's kind of dark. <clears throat> wow, Gengar apparently was really common too. To be fair, it's only level nine. That was... I would have trained that up. I mean, I yeah. don't care same, but I'm just saying, it would have been a lot. Executor. I think we can get most of the encounters in this episode, too, because we shouldn't be that far from Cinnabar at this point. I hope so. Chelsea forgot your address, sir. Oh. While I play, you want to send it to her? Yeah, I guess I should do that. <clears throat> Thank God, hypnosis is. What time is it? 11. Yeah, this will be the last episode we record. Uh, we'll just go hang out with Trevor who Mankey. That's what we're saying. That Mankey tried to seismic toss us.
Man, all our Pokemon except for Lettuce are like actually pretty decent level right now. Will you look up what level Blaine's Pokemon are? Uh, mid 40s. It's not I believe. It's actually kind of bad for us. <clears throat> God. Forty, two forty twos, and a forty seven. Jesus. We're actually at the point where the game actually looks intimidating. You know what I mean? Y'all. Not like the first few gyms where we were like higher level than, than the gym leaders. Oh god. Oh god. Metronome. Fire punch? That's clean. Sweet. Yes. Kill yourself, dang it. I didn't say that on camera. <laughs> Should be about the same bar. I don't think the route's very big. Well, there's at least one more trainer. The one we're battling right now. Right now, he's in a triathlon meet. Shouldn't you be racing and not... Battling them? Oh man, Pokemon's life. Triggered. Camouflage? I don't know, man. Didn't I didn't do even know that was a move. Altaria. Dragon is on. I don't think it. I thought was a dragon. Yeah, it is. I forget, it gains the fairy type in one of I guess. Yeah, it becomes like Dragon Fairy. Yup. Besides, fairies aren't even in this game. Neither are Mega Evolutions. Alright, we're at Cinnabar. Finally. Alright, so let's just heal. The door That's, is locked. That is not the heal place. I didn't even try to walk in there, so that was kind of weird. <clears throat> well, apparently you tried to, because I told you it was locked. Shut up, CJ. Just saying. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put someone in the PC, just because I think if you give them the fossil, you have to have a free space to take it. Yes. The only thing is, though, whenever we get the fossil back, it's level 5. So if it's something good, that's gonna suck. That's fine. We just grind it up. Yeah. No biggie. I'm just letting you know. We actually have a lot of Pokemon. We uh, also have a lot of back Pokemon. I'm just gonna put Taylor or Swallow in here for now. I don't feel like he's all that important right now. We're not, we're not flying anywhere. So, <laughs> we get the fossil. We get. Uh, we get fish too. That building, and then we get the fish. fish. The fishing. Fish. Do we immediately get this, or do we have to wait? What? For the fossil? Oh, you just walk out and come back in, and it's ready. Okay. It's a fossil of sand shrew. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah. I mean, sand slash. Actually, yeah, sand slash is pretty bad in these games. Unfortunate. Alright, so we have sand sure. I was hoping for something a wee bit more exciting. Same. Corky? Yep. Don't question my names. I've been doing that this entire playthrough. Bro, my names are weird, I know. Don't judge me. Yeah, it's level 5. I don't even feel like grinding up that change room. Maybe if we white out, but... 
not any time soon. If it was a better Pokemon, yeah, I would've been all for it. It's the same true, though. Let's go ahead and put Swallow back in the team. Yeah, we can just go ahead and get these encounters and then cut it. And then next episode, we'll get into the gym, hopefully. I gotta remember how to do that. I don't exactly remember how to unlock the gym. Uh, you have to go through that burnt building. Oh, you do? I do remember that. Okay, that works then. Alright, so let's go fish. Yo, aren't you gonna go for missing though? No, because that's only in Gen 1. Oh, they didn't have it in the remakes? No, because Missing No wasn't, it was a complete utter accident. It was a complete glitch. Oh. I figured it was such a big part of the game that they would keep it in. No, because I don't think they exactly knew how to replicate it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I feel that. Because it was a glitch. Alright, encounter. Is it good? Um. <laughs> Can we technically species clause this? We had a Bulbasaur, but it's knocked out. I don't... God, I don't remember how it works. Google. Alright, we're back. Um, Everything we found online about duping this thing was kind of... There, there was no definite answer. There, were, there, there was at least one that made it seem like we could, and none that made it seem like we couldn't. At least in my opinion. So we're gonna dupe it. So we'll have to mark that we need to make a cut during this episode. We're on... Quite a big cut. 30? Believe it on 30? And we get a love disc for our troubles. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. Alright, so... We'll just catch it. We should have just stuck with the Venusaur. Now, even if people care that we duped it, it's like, what's the big deal? We got a stupid love disc. You know what I mean? Oh man, that Venus would been nice. Yeah. Alright, we have a love disc. Now we will go get the burnt building. I didn't even go up, Jesus. Alright, so let's get our encounter in the Pokemon Mansion. Alright, here it is. We knocked out a Marie, but we didn't catch it. Yep, we didn't catch it. So we can catch this. I'm cool with this, because we kind of need an electric type. You know what I mean? And this isn't very far off from evolving into Ampharos. That's actually another good reason for us to catch it. Ha! Ha ha! Get wrecked. That's fantastic. Hey, that works. It'll make it easier to capture now. Yeah. You might just be able to Ultra Ball it now. I hope so. Because it took a little bit of damage and it got status. Alright. 
Alright, well, that'll be it for the video. Uh, next episode, we will be taking on the gym. No, we gotta finish this. Then we'll take on the gym. So, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay jolly.